encounter, May, where several threats converge in the tapestry of worlds. A world of settlers, both by choice and accident. A world of conflict between civilizations, young and ancient, noble and cruel, living and otherwise. A world unresolved, with many vying to shape its fate. Only one thing is certain about Kaurame. Its future will not be determined here, or here, for that matter. At last, show them in. Seven years of riddles and traps. Seven years of waiting for you to make a mistake. And now we have you. The Shadow. The Shadow. The Shadow. You've ruined my carpet. So we have. Where is the girl, fiend? Straight to it, then. No foreplay. You release the princess at once. And what, in our long relationship, suggests I would do this? There's but one way this can end. With your death and us departing with our prize. For women are prizes to be won, yes? You simple surface dwellers. The princess was never my objective, oh no. Merely a means to an end. You see, I have discovered a great secret about our world. A truth that defies all... Don't you dare. It might be work. Are you going to get that? Let it go to voicemail. You were saying? I was. You simple surface dwellers. The princess was never my objective, no. I have discovered a secret about our world, a truth that defies all of it. I'm surprised you even get reception down here. If you answer that, I will punch you forever. It's work. I've got to... Hello? No. No, now's a great time. Boss, uh, some guy has a question about renting the room. That's on the rate sheet. Right, he'd like to know how much it costs. Oh, yeah, that? would be on the rate sheet. And if we're gonna take a break, I need to feed the meter. I, uh, I actually have to get going. You gotta Seriously? be kidding me. Sorry, we have an early load in in the morning and we still haven't cleared the bay. You're killing me, guys, you're killing me. And that's really what I should be doing. Guys, this is gonna be a while. Uh, we, we pissed off a pretty big customer. Yeah, who? China. To be continued. So, same time next week? I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, this isn't going away anytime soon. I'll be in tech. And I've been drafted into helping with tech, Grumble. Thank you, sweetie. Grumble, I say. Oh, freaking come on! This keeps happening! Are we really gonna miss another session? We're down 60% of the party, so what do you suggest? Does game night not mean anything to anyone? anymore. If I wanted to play once every two months, I'd be Lodge's sex life. Hey. Why didn't you hey? Hey. Relax. Sometimes life gets in the way. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, you're still stupid. It's not like it's going to be a year till we game again.
Five more minutes and we kill him. Firm but fair. You shut up. I'm the antagonist. I can't antagonize. So, China's talking to us again. Seriously, where the hell is he? What is that noise? My minions. Minioning. Oh, shut up. It's... What the shit crapped all these dorks in my store? We're double booked. Sorry, I can't game. Really? Just we're not gaming. The street continues. I can grab us a table at the AFK. We can still have waffles. Unearned waffles. Waffles, waffles of, of shame. shame. Yes. That would be lovely. I warned you. You sell card games and they'll come. Those mouth-breathing card floppers. And ones and twos at first. And then more would follow. And now they've nested and taken over my precious table space. Is this what you wanted, Leo? A gaggle of shambling fail elementals cloying the air? I do not get your nerd rage on this. You love breaking games. Why don't you just stick around, see what happens? Oh, my tie? Might I please perchance to spend hundreds of dollars on a non-interactive game with no underlying narrative? Squee! Hold me back! This is sarcasm, by the way. This game has absolutely zero Ew, beard face. You the T.O.? Hey, other beard face. Boom, card me. Oh, our first hold in player tonight. Mind if I ask your bill? Quest military switch. Awesome. My own special blend. Yeah, I miss switch. I used to run something very similar with the Tuatha before the legacy broke us. You know, this is my favorite deck ever. Sorry, man. Yeah. Well, I quit the game after that. It kind of stopped being fun, you know? Hey, hey what's hey. she doing out of the kitchen? Take care of Dunder Real for us. You got it. <laughs> Girls suck at games. Hey, here we go. Honey, could you make me a sandwich? <laughs> we both know you don't need any more carbs. Come on, show us your tits. I left them at home. Hey, is it hard to shuffle with my dick in your hands? Sorry, all I heard was virgin, virgin, crusty sock. All right, Chad, I warned you. You're out of here. Come on. Hans, door. Why is it my fault that she can't take a compliment? Right this way. Bastion. Um, miss, I'm really sorry about that. Comes with the territory. How dare I game with ovaries? You only won because boobs. Oh, I can use that one. Nice. What's up, Craig Chin? Am I kicking your ass today? Nah, Cass here hates CCG. That offer no competition. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll, I'll meet you in the tourney. Yay! No, wait, sorry. I meant meh. I need three things to live. Water, salt, and her name. Oh, would you look at that? We're actually just past the sign-in phase. Oh. And the entry fee's 10 bucks. But for you, 20. I'll give you 30 if I meet her in the first round. I'll take that 30 and the plus three beads of protection. Do I look like a sheep? Because I'm getting fleeced. You still need a deck to play. Uh, whatever. I'll take the Grand Mighty Empire of Green One. You, you don't just grab a faction at random. Your choice of empire is the most important decision that you shall ever make. They each have their own unique histories and, and, and tactics and varying victory conditions. Take the Tuatha. Green One. We are a people of mighty power. Green One. We were the first to uphold the... Thirty-four ninety-five. Thanks. Citizens of Counter May, one generation ago, 
Sim Buxter hewed and Tuatha Dunderil led an alliance against the god king Shad Hujem and his undead allies. They toppled the Dark One from his godhead seat and sealed his throne under a mountain of stone. But. Hey, Natalie, right? I know, our guest, the only girl here. That is how I want to be remembered. I'm Cass, and you have already turned tonight's fortunes completely around. I have a taser. The sunken pyramid of Ixasha rises from the deep, and from it issues forth the dread army with a single goal in mind, to return Ulix, the eternal emperor, to the godhead seat and restore their empire. Will Ixasha be victorious? Or will the mortal men stand together and claim the throne for themselves? We shall have the answers to all this and more when we cry havoc! havoc! Cry havoc! havoc! And let slip the dogs of war! Well, that was pointless. <laughs> Where were we? All right, yeah, let's play with cards. I do not get your angle, man. Welcome to the Romance of the Nine Empires collectible card game, where you take the part of one of the nine warring factions. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, nine of them. I gotcha. Okay, I'm just gonna declare victory now. All right, you got me. I don't actually play this game. <laughs> Wonder of wonders. I'm just a chiseled gamer guy who saw a gorgeous gamer girl and was willing to risk total humiliation for a chance to talk to her. After this is all over, let's say you teach me how to play over a cup of coffee. I know this great waffle place that's open all night. Okay. Let me break it down for you. You're cute. Sure. You speak in complete sentences, and I'm reasonably certain that you've bathed in the last 24. Thing is, I'm here to game. I have this tournament to win, and a whole army of the undead to thwart. I can do 20 pull-ups. Not in a row or anything. Taser. OK, yeah, sure. Hi. Uh, you just do your thing, and I We'll just um, want to see how the whole shebang turns out. Play it off and back away and figure out your shot. She totally franced ya, didn't she? Ah, of course she did. Uh, how does utter defeat taste? Bitter, I hope. This is not sarcasm, by the way. The night is young, and as you said, victory conditions vary. You gotta. Well. Here, come here. No! Oh, no, hey, look, I'm sorry. But you know, it's like I've always said men are bad at relationships and women are bad at. Things. Ladies and gentlemen, our winner and regional champion, Chris Hunter. Congratulations. You've won a berth in the national championship and the storyline prize. So, what's it gonna be? War or diplomacy? War, of course! If you don't like the way the game is going, all you gotta do is beat the legacy of Gen Con. Come on! Hate me more! Your pout rage gives me strike! Great game, Natalie. Way to give the legacy another win. Hey, you kicked some serious ass in there. I lost. Now I gotta play my way out of the Swiss. Fucking legacy. Right. You don't play. They're this cabal 
of elite dickbags who like fucking with the player base and making unpopular story decisions. They created the starvation deck, that control denial thing you saw in there, and they just sit behind an undead army that doesn't have to eat while they wipe out all food production on the board so you can't even bring your heroes into play without them starving to death. And they just whittle you away while you sit there watching your deck burn. And they're gonna ride that pony all the way to the championship and flush questing down the toilet. Them's the stakes. Ekshasa wins. Questing's gone as a victory condition. I never thought I'd leave this game. But I can't take this shit anymore. And without any ability to affect anything, Oh, I really ranted all over you. It's okay, I, I didn't understand most of it anyway. So, waffles? Tell you what, Thunderjaw. Win Gen Con for Holden. Put my queen on the throne. And sure, I'll go out with you. No, it wouldn't. And I'm telling you, it would. There is zero evidence to support your claim. I think that the evidence is rather clear. Well, let's ask Cass. Cass. Say that you were to chop off the Hydra's dick. Do Shut up. Think... Ready for this? We're going to Gen Con. The best four days in gaming. Expecting a bigger reaction. Well, Joe and I were already going. Yeah, and now someone from the group actually has a chance of getting laid. Hey. So, I'm winning a tournament for this card flopper chick. She's totally into me. Will he be there? Yes, Gary, of course he'll be there. He's always there. You're gonna have to deal with him sooner or later. I don't think I'm ready yet. <sighs> now all I have to do is learn how to play the Nine Kingdoms. Empires. Yeah, tomato, tomato. All right! Which one of you guys wants to lose to a guy who's touched boob? Bucks to Hude. You are summoned to the Queen. It is as I feared. War has come to Holden. The cult of Shadhu Gem marches against us. Meet them in battle, Myriad. Save our kingdom. The God King shall return. I'm warmed up now. Rematch. And use a real deck this time. Bucks to Hude. You are summoned to the Queen. It is as I feared. War has come to Holden. The Ord of the Floating Isle march against us. Meet them in battle, Myriad. Save our kingdom. I said real deck. Rematch. I'm bored. I'll play, I'll play. Bucks to Hude. You are summoned to the queen. It is as I fear. 
War has come to Holden. This feels so familiar. Something unlike anything I've ever seen marches against us. Meet them in battle, Myriad. Fiends, be gone from this love! Are we even playing the same game? I'm playing Chibi Dance number one. Hooray. I don't know what you're playing. Oh, grow up! Man, you are like an anti-montage. Come, Come on, let's leave the sad man alone. You just keep getting worse. Uh, please, uh, from the bottom of my heart, and I do mean this sincerely, keep trying. Your flailing at mediocrity is marvelous entertainment. Might I have a look at your deck? It's not like you're gonna be able to help. Those kids are obviously cheating. Now he's blaming kids? This is like... Christmas and my birthday all at the same time. Let's do a test draw, see if we can't find the problem. Box am I summoned to the queen? Yes. We must face Is it war? Has war come to Holden? War? Heavens no. I, I merely wished to assess our defenses. Have you been sleeping? You look troubled. I, I've been having the strangest dreams. I, at least that's what I think they are. Dreams? <clears throat> Majesty, our defenses are woefully inadequate. Not a kingdom in the world can stand against the Dread Army. And with famine rampant... We have neither the troops nor the wealth to prevail. If we are too weak to stand on our own, then what we clearly need are allies. A political marriage would strengthen our position. I'm of more use to us here. And what do you suggest? How shall we defend ourselves? No. <laughs> Let me quest, Majesty, the way my father did, the way that made Holden great. The days of epic questing are over, Myriad. They died with your father. Majesty, assess our defenses. I would know how inadequate they are before I take marriage off the table. Here's your problem. Your gold to food ratio is off. You've got too few quests and a metric buttload of heroes. If you're questing, you need to focus around these two. Myriad and Dunderil. We have only these few men. Do they look strangely similar to you? We can't supply a larger army, and our weapons selection is embarrassingly out of date. We cannot defend ourselves with this. My father could have. I wonder. Crafty as he was, I doubt even old Sim could have made a go of it with these paltry resources. Sly old fox. I miss him. There has to be something we haven't considered. Something we haven't thought of. There is. Retreat. Leave the castle. Lead your people back into the marches. This, Holden, it has been a wonderful experiment and a welcoming refuge. But Sim made many enemies when he carved it from the wilderness. Enemies with long memories. I've been through the fall of a dynasty, Marion. Life goes on. Life goes on if you allow it to. Byron, could you please go count the bulk dice again? Sort them by color. Generation. Holden won't last a generation. Crushed or annexed. It's only a matter of time. What Dunderil won't say, what the whole court knows the queen will have to do is marry me off to secure a peace. 
which wouldn't have even been an option if I had been born your son! <laughs> this is about the first 10 years of R9E. <laughs> I have play sets of all the rares, all the promos. <laughs> Some of these even go back to the initial print run. <sighs> these are total collector items now. Practically impossible to find. And I've kept them hidden for years. His journals. His unfinished work, the quests he never completed, I found them. Did we need to bring them all? We got these lost. Wherever did you find them? I, I, nowhere that can't be repaired. I'm sorry? These are rather heavy. We can complete the quests he never did. Find the artifacts and allies. We need to defend our kingdom, don't you see? And these are the edge you need. You know how to play this game? Yes. And I can teach you. If, and I mean you've got to convince me, if it's a worthwhile use of my time. So I'll put it to you straight. This girl, is she worth it? Yeah. There's just something about her. The drive, the poise, the way she made that 11-year-old cry. The moment I saw her, I just knew. This girl's special. This is a girl that I could really, really have sex with. Yeah, that's all I needed to hear. With this deck, you'll be questing, so you'll want a blend of strong mid-game quests, game-ending knockout quests, and quick cheeser quests to get you started. Here is a classic. A most peculiar lamp. Oh, just so you know, when I remember this, I'm totally gonna imagine the Matrix training sequence. What? Cards. Lots of cards. So the lamp? Yeah. It's 10 renown. Plus, you get to search for and play three cards from your own deck. You've got 40 renown already. This will push you over the edge. Most peculiar lane. Lying in wait to hijack. I'm gonna assign Colonel Baker, who uh, using his reaction to assign Mike, who uh, using his reaction to assign the chaplain, who motherfucking ha. Where did they come from? I've been wondering that for 30 years. Thanks for showing us the way. Now stay down. Down, I said! We need that lamp. This strikes me as an appropriate time to slip behind the veil. Hello. Mike, is it? Oh, sleep. Ah. You stay down. <laughs> hey, who am I? Baseball, democracy, apple pie. Oh. You are ageless, not immortal. You can't go throwing yourself into risk like that. Why ever not? Holden needs you. Well, Holden has me. The lamp. Mm. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Man, good game, wow. Everybody, give it up for our second place finisher. Second place. Did I miss the finals? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a formality. I'm 9 0 today. Who am I playing? You. Oh, you, you, you don't know. All right. The die have been cast and the cards drawn. And this year's sacrificial lamb will be played by newcomer, Sean. Cassidy! Oh! It's Cass. The legend, Mark the Meech Mayhem! Meech, 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 Meech.
Rise, my friends. So what are you supposed to be, like the end boss or something? Look around you, Mr. Cassidy. What you see is a row of championship banners. For this is my home store. It is here. I have qualified for every global storyline tournament since the dawn of the game. And yet the topic of conversation tonight is not my inexorable 10th consecutive qualifying tournament victory, but is instead of some newcomer slinging a slate of vintage quests. Why is this? Regimes change and empires fall. That chair looks comfy. Does that come with the win? One half or one third. Will I be defeating you tonight with one half or one third of my deck? Big half. It's, uh, it's less embarrassing. I think you're already playing with half a deck there, buddy. No. One third it is. You go first. Or not cutting for it? Start out strong. Set yourself up for victory. There's a reason you're carrying three of these. Biggest turnip? Quick to renown. Biggest turnip? Not every quest gets to be epic. Maybe I'm missing something. What exactly is the big heroic deed here? Growing a giant freak vegetable? More or less. And said mutant tuber has the potential to win you the game? I don't think turnips are tubers. So, your empire's at war. And regardless of the tactical or economic realities on the ground, you could theoretically win a military conflict by growing a turgid bit of purple stewbait. Hey, I have an idea how to end this flashback. Oh? Turn. Take another. I'm sorry? Take another turn. I insist. Now take another. Come on, man. Take another turn. like we talked about. A desperate offer can save your ass. You get three renown to give one of your quest rewards to one of your opponent's guys. And that helps me how? It might buy you a turn. Might. I said might. A word of advice, Mr. Cassidy. No matter how gimmicky your deck, the jank that gets you through the Swiss won't hold up in the elimination rounds. Tell your puppet master. Questing is dead. Our champion for the 10th consecutive year, the Meech! 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 Carrie, it is conversations like this that keep you single. Uh, but, but, the logic bears out, right? Now, tell me I'm wrong. Here's the thing. I'm not. Look, if I have to pick a side. You do? Fine. Yes, two dicks would grow back. See, it's simple science. Yeah, I don't know what Lodge's problem is. Hey, hey, uh, can, can I talk to you? Please. Hey, you did great. He beat me in nine cards. 
Pamich has won four Gen Cons. He is arguably the best player in the game today. Great. So, how am I supposed to beat him at Gen Con? With any luck, the Legacy will knock him out of the tournament. Okay. How am I supposed to beat the Legacy? With any luck, the Meech will knock them out of the tournament. You're not helping. Every year in the sweltering late August heat, a strange creature will follow its instinctual migration pattern here to urban Indiana, the Gamer. During this great annual migration, gamers of all species, from the Midwestern neckbeard to the quivering man jelly, will descend upon Indianapolis by the tens of thousands. A group of gamers, called a table, is virtually unheard of in these numbers, but congregate they do every year for Gen Con. They have come such a distance for the same reasons as any migratory mammal, to build up resources for the long winter months and to mate. The pageantry of the four-day con is not to be missed. Members of this giant table will adorn themselves with colorful plumage and perform bizarre mating displays to stand out from their rivals. Competition among males for the demographically fewer females is fierce, but seldom lethal. Of the gamers who do successfully mate, many will return a year later with their offspring, the Geeklet, assuring the cycle of gamer life will continue for at least another generation. But for every successful pairing, there are a multitude of failures. Male gamers who fail to successfully find a mate must return to their feeding grounds alone, where they will content themselves with their comic books, video games, and their latent misogyny. I knew you had it in you. You're being a bit of a dick. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get you signed up. Keep working on that. Yes, my master. Okay, today's all about placing high enough in the Swiss that you advance to the elimination round. That's where the real fight begins. But first, we've got to get your deck logged and the... Are you even listening? gonna put your king on the throne. Right! Only it's queen and, oh dear God, you thought I was serious. I expect that date when I win. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Awesome. Why is a bowling team here? So full disclosure, my taser's not actually legal in the States. Had to send away for it to Singapore. I'm detecting a hint of negativity. Holy it's, uh, it's you from Right, yeah, um, uh, uh, displaced military switch, switch deck. deck, yeah! yeah. <laughs> right? You're telling me he plays? What? Are you joking? Oh my gosh, he's awesome. Well, he, I mean, you lasted what, like nine cards against the Meech? Nine cards? <laughs> yeah. I got a lot to say, don't you? Have you recruited him yet? Uh, why no, she has not. Tell me more. Oh man, check it. So, a bunch of story players have formed. An alliance, what? To take down the legacy and keep questing in the game. We're gonna get the best anti-starvation deck into the finals, whether it's ours or somebody else's. Isn't that great? Oh, check it! We've even got buttons! Ooh, buttons! Whee! Wait, wait, so it's an alliance to lose? Clearly nothing that you would be interested in. No, no, no. It's, it's an alliance to win as a team. Oh, shit, like NASCAR? And we'd love to have you, man. Ah. Uh, here's the thing. I'm trying to wrangle a date with Ginger Smack over there, and Natalie? Yes, and I can't do that unless I get her monarch ass down on a godhead seat, so I have to win. Just give me the damn button. I wanted to thank everyone for making Nine Empires the game it is today. You know, 15 years ago when we started this, people told us we were crazy for making a card game where the players could influence the story. And well, they were right. But here we still are. And here's your head writer for Nine Empires, Penelope Chalk. 
the fate of the world lies in your hands, brothers and sisters. In three days' time, we will crown our new monarch. Until then, we cry havoc! Havoc! Cry havoc! Let's flip the dogs of war! It's a dollar per roll, or seven for five, but you have to roll. And you only get a kiss on the cheek if you roll a 20. Otherwise, it's a chocolate kiss. So 1.4 rolls per dollar at the wholesale rate with a 5% chance of return will yield a total bulk value of approximately 14.25 per kiss. So here is $500. You owe me 35 kisses. It's for charity. Come on, come here, come here, come here. Badges, please. There is so much cool stuff here. I mean, you know, oh, that's really nifty. I mean, there's so much going on. Chibi Chan. Chibi, Chibi, Chibi Chan. Chibi Chan. Chibi Chan. Chibi Chan. Hey, look. Chibi. I don't have a problem with you, man. We can both enjoy the con. Okay? You go your way, and I'll go mine. Chibi Chan! The hell did you just say to me? Uh, Chibi huh? Chan. I think I'm just gonna stand here and take that, huh? Chibi Chan? We may have a situation. Take it back! Yeah. Take it back! Take it back! Take is this man bothering you? This is no man! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. sorry. Sorry, sorry. Our friends dehydrated that humid Indiana air. Yeah, hey, you you guys uh, totally would have taken those Ewoks. I hate Ewoks. Chibi Chan. Good game. Well played. How are you doing this? Were you just pretending not to play because I need a pity victory because I'm a girl? I'm five and one today, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, whoa, not what he's thinking at all. I mean, you're, uh, you, you being a lady, not even on his mind, right? <laughs> Do you okay? So, what does it matter? If he just learned how to play the game. He's, you're, what are you today? Four and two. It's four and two. Do you know what that means? I do. It means that if he wins the next match, we all advance. All right? That's some go team stuff right there, right? That's why we're here. Email. Shoot. Shoot. <sighs> you got a pretty mouth. Buxter Hude, you are summoned to the Queen. It is as I feared. War has come to Holden. The dread army of Ikshasa marches against us. At the very least, we can stop wondering when they'll come. The undead are already burning our crops, blading our fields. They aim to starve us out. If for anything, we can thank them for using consistent tactics. One moment. What quest awaits us? To Pale Mountain? We need to stop an army now have questions answered. The apple of life, then? No one's died. Besides, we'd never complete it. Why wouldn't I complete it? Because they'd never find your body. This card needs to be torn in half to activate the quest reward. It's a rare rare. A Gen Con participation prize from 98. There were only 500 of these ever printed. Just slide that back in your deck. Then where are we bound with the dead at our door? Plague a locust on your farm. Consistent tactics. Plague a locust on your other farm. I take the field. Turn. Here. Let's find a most peculiar lamp with all haste. The warding. The skinny. A 
According to my father's notes, the lamp was entombed in the wall, and its previous occupant defended. <laughs> 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 Winded, old man? <laughs> you again? I'm sorry. You're about to wish for a bountiful harvest to feed your people and torrential rain to turn your home battlefield to mud. This will stymie the Dread Army and buy you enough time to quest for victory. Yeah, that sounds good. Well? Uh, yes, we'll do that. You actually have to say that you... Uh, we wish for a bountiful harvest, which is so in this season and pairs quite nicely with torrential rain. And my, for my third. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! That is a bounty. You're the first guy to knock a legacy player out of the tournament. Okay, so, um, so these you can totally redeem for other cards. And this book is a history of the game. Huh. Okay. So he can play. Okay, so he can play. Hell yes, he can play! You lost. To whom? Who the hell is that? Some punk throwing vintage quests out of Holden? Quests? You lost to a quest deck? Fascinating. Your wishes are granted. Thank you. To Holden? No need. Your enemy has withdrawn. How can you know that? <laughs> because this is hardly the first time we've done this dance. It's not always the same enemy, and it's not always you or the pair of you. And you are not always victorious. You do usually have the turnip, though. Ignore him. He'd trick you out of your last wish. Does this have something to do with this sense that I've been living the same moments over and over again? My, you are a perceptive one. Excuse us. What are you talking about? It's hard to say. It's, it's, it's this feeling like, like a dream you can't quite remember. In the sense that we've done it all before. Like, like we're trying to remember the steps to a dance that we can't quite recall until we're dancing, dancing it again. again. The phrase you're looking for, which hails from a language of artistes and gourmands, is déjà vu. I would know more of this. How to explain? This realm is locked in a quantum state. Your world exists only as possibilities. This encounter is but one of many iterations. Shadows, like the one you may become, of a single true reality that has yet to be determined. When this version of events fades, it will do so as a dream, but one you will not remember, for it will never have occurred. And you will return to the place you always do. I am summoned to the Queen. With no memory that this has happened a thousand times before. This can't be true. This can't possibly be true. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good to meet you. All right, uh, it's good to meet you. <clears throat> so, Iron Chops. Jace uh, would like to invite no, you to- No, and others. 
Jace and other members of the Alliance would like to invite you to the LARP tonight. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I don't LARP. I'm not a LARPer. Oh, um, so uh, furries are people that LARPers make fun of, and LARPers are people that gamers make fun of. And gamers are people that people make fun of? Plus, I'm gaming with my group for the first time in like a year, so. Which sounds, that sounds awesome. It, it's, that's very cool. Um, but if you change your mind, you, for real, you are invited, so please stop by. What's happening? Is the world ending? Not ending, just resetting. And we'll not remember this? I won't forget. I couldn't. I couldn't. I'll, I'll remember, remember it, it all. Stop, Stop that. that. You, you can't, can't know what I'm going, going to say. Gargoyle. Gargoyle. Lemon, Lemon tart. tart. Dance, Dance on my face. face. There is one rather major variation this time around. I'm surprised you haven't spotted it. You only used two of your- I wish to remember. So, I'm into the elimination round. No surprises there. Okay, so, where were we? Ah, yes. The shadow nope. welcomes Wait. you. Wait, I want to savor this. It's been so long. <sighs> okay, go. The shadow welcomes you into his chamber. Please, sit. <clears throat> oh, for God's sake. I'm pretty certain he's dead. Are you certain? Quite. I'm afraid the homicidal slattern murdered him. With my minion knife. See? Oh, oh yes, of course. Minion knife? Well, yeah, I'm not gonna get minion blood all over my main weapon. Ugh. How are you a cleric? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Enough of your games, demon. Games? What have I done other than to offer you refreshment and watch you re-assassinate my servant? The girl, the princess, where is she? Where did you take her? Now that is a matter of no light conversation. Please, sit. That wasn't so bad, now was it? It's been so long since I've had stimulating conversation. No. No! Back! Jamie Chan! Well, we've lost Gary. So, same time next year? You've got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. <sighs> Look, dude, you can't harass the mascots, okay? Chill. Uh, Chibi Chan. We might need security. Chibi Chan. Chibi Chan. Chibi Chan. Chibi Chibi Chan. Chibi Chan. Chibi Chan. Damn 
If we cannot come to some accord, find some way to trust each other and form a united front, then Ikshasa will reach the Godhead's seat. And an age of darkness will consume us all. And out of character, that means questing is dead. And I'd rather not have that happen on my watch. The Tuatha will join the alliance with Holden. If? if you hand over the traitor, Dundaril. You do not represent the Tuatha. You speak for the Unseelie. The Unseelie won the war. And so, we are the Tuatha. The price for our cooperation is your Seely Prince. Never. Nice timing, by the way. Thanks. 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 Did someone mention prices? We of Esh are listening. What Malkior needs is food. Yet you build your kingdom on a mountaintop. Food or land? Give us a farming province. We'll send you an army. No. Sell it to us. We'll give you a good price. Why should it fall to us to fight the dreaded army? It's clear whose fault this is. Arcanix, they shattered the new mountain with their magics and exposed the sea. You will not put this on us. No. Excuse me. You provoked them with your crazy magics. That pyramid was underwater till you woke them up. And now that we have awoken, you are all doomed. If you want our help, it might be wise not to insult us. All of you. All do. It's anyone's fault, it's yours. The city claimed bomb was supposed to destroy the seat entirely. Cut our sandwich, hope to goods. What? What? Masio, Lord, Bruska Gex, Keith, Hop Jako, Sando, a car. Dudes, seriously, those costumes are unreal. You guys went all out. Kiba Gek, Oma Tagaka, Chagagax, Gadzur, Kazagax, Lord Zutva. Okay, a little too into it. Why does it keep happening? Nice. You barely see the hotel. I'm so glad you changed your mind. I was hoping you'd come. Why, uh, why aren't you wearing a costume? Oh, uh, I am. I'm LARPing as a guy who hates LARPing. Oh! She's behind me, isn't she? Yeah, directly. Look, this may look stupid to you, but it's one of the highlights of my year. So if you're gonna be a colossal dick, just go dick it up in the corner. Where were we? Oh, uh, you were belittling yes. us. So much for your vaunted technology. So how is it? I haven't seen you at a tourney. Vintage cards like that, you just don't find them laying around. Ah, oh, they're, uh, friends. I'm just passing through. <sighs> well, enjoy it while you can. This might be going away. A lot of players are leaving the game. Yeah, but not these guys. Really? Are these your most hardcore fans? They can't stand to see what the legacy is doing to the game. Con after con, tourney after tourney. What they need is hope, really. What they need is a champion. I'm just passing through. <clears throat> hey, <clears throat> we didn't see you complaining when our A-bomb blew up the God King. <clears throat> and that was our last chance to get home. We'd help, miss. But there's just goddamn too few of us. We can't risk open warfare and leave the home states undefended. What about your neighbors? Would they be of any help? Huh! The Who Gem? You remember the God King? Err! We will have no dealings with the displaced. Let the dead take them. But if one of us falls, we all fall. The strong of faith will prevail. Forget it, and waste of time. You really need to get over this minor dispute with the displaced. Minor dispute? They killed our god. And we do it again. Not helping. There will be no accord. It's not enough that doom is on the march. We must be complicit in our own downfall. And where are you? Because you're clearly not here. Really not. 
What would you say if I told you that none of this matters? Nothing happening here, that it's all for naught? I'd say I don't understand. I, however, do. <laughs> At a diplomatic summit? You were not invited. It was open to representatives of the Nine Empires, was it not? And is Ikshasa not one of the Nine? There's a lad. A word with your lady. She's not my lady. So you know it's liberating, isn't it? Knowing that the fate of our world is not determined by us? I don't believe you. I don't need you to believe me. We are but pieces on the board, fleshling. Toyed with by powers unaware of our existence. Powers that favor Ikshasa. The hands that deal our fate do so in our favor. The outcome has already been determined. You need not die with the rest of your people. Dundaril need not die with the rest of your people. You're talking, what has come you over you? Understand. Nothing we do here matters. We cannot affect the outcome. The entire world is at stake. The entire world, the kingdom your father built. And you speak of abandonment. Perhaps we can escape this cycle. Oh, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> you make my car. Awesome. All right, cool. Thank you. No. Did you, did you win? Didn't. It's a LARP. Oh, so you all lost. <laughs> Where'd she go? Cardligula. Is he Natalie around here anywhere? Ah, you're confused. You see, in human society, when someone asks a question... Unless she's a card in one of these decks, I haven't seen her. You see me beat that starvation deck today? I quested the shit out of it. You beat the lowest ranking member of the legacy with a deck they'd never seen. Congratulations are not yet in order. Right. Oh! Um, Jace and Natalie and some of the story players have this whole little alliance thing going? I have no dealings with the Lesser Kingdom. Is that a starvation deck? Because if it is... I'm sorry, did I interrupt your sentence with the middle of my ritual? Ah, you dropped this. future for the nine empires. Nine versions of the story depending on who wins the Godhead seat. By a vote of 37-19, the regional qualifying winners have chosen war over diplomacy. And as a result, the elimination round will be played under conquest rules. Any unique hero killed from this point forward will be permanently dead in the storyline. You are summoned to the... Buxtahue. Something's different. It certainly is.
I'm so sorry. Um, if I had done any of this. Do you regret this at all? Would you change it? If had it never happened? And in what way have you wronged either of us? Buxter Hewitt! You are summoned to the quick. <laughs> Is it my turn? And that's fifty. Turn. Uh, okay. Good game. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> you too? Yeah, but I tagged every card he played. His whole deck? Right there. This guy could ruin our plans. Sean Cassidy versus Chris Hunter. We're switching tactics. You're gonna lose to the quest deck. What? Come on, I can take this guy. You don't need to take him. You need to kill off his heroes. I... We worked hard for conquest rules. Let's use them. You understand me? Sweep the leg. Well, you coming? Yeah. <sighs> Brilliant. Brilliant! We've seen too much of their army for this to be a split attack. Holden is not the target. We are. Why? We're but two people. Two people tying up their army. Let them pursue us. It means Holden's safe. Is it now? I gave you an out. You remember Scaffler? <laughs> Unerring strike. That won't thwart the quest. I win next action. Yeah. Without one of your heroes. So, who's for the chop? Sleep. Okay. Thanks. Okay, who was it? Wow. Wow. Hey. Hey. Good luck tomorrow. Congrats on making the semis. Thanks. Time to you. I mean, I love cost, though. Thunder Realm. That's... Yeah. You know, I actually won the tournament that brought him to hold him. Really, really hurts my deck. I got wicked bonuses with Myriad in play. I don't know how I'm gonna make it the difference. That's why it's sad? Because... Your deck suffers mechanically? Not because Myriad lost the love of her life? What, it's not enough to win the damn tournament? I have to get everyone's favorite character across the goal line as well? And I'm telling you, it is the best way to kill a Hydra. Ignore the heads with the teeth, and just keep chopping dong until so many have grown back to gracefully change the subject. If you'd all just sit. Yeah, how long are you gonna keep me cooped up in here? I've been wondering that myself. So you're ready to not start any shit with Chibi-chan. So, gaming? Anyone? Can we play? Can you? You have half a party. Yes. Yes, we can. We can still play. See? Hey, everyone. This campaign's dangerously unboring. But don't worry, I'm here to fix it. First off, we're gonna avoid combat whenever possible and negotiate with inferior opponents. And remember, take everyone's feelings into account. 
especially random one-off NPCs with no continuing story. Teehee, girl stuff. Kiss me up, you big handsome pally. Mwah. 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 See, can't even tell the difference. And how are you going to play without a game master? Who's controlling me, for instance? Finally! If it's either of them, we're starting now. Deliver us from the undead. Please, win the tournament. Save our heroes. Take this in tribute. Who is it? Um, another bunch of freaks convinced I'm their messiah. Is this, is this Murr? <laughs> Close the door before Gary gets loose. Smoke in the wind, baby! Damn it! <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh! Gary, thanks! Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, 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 guys. Could you just give us a minute? Like, go in his room. Yeah. The hell was that? We lost Gary containment, then... Now a bunch of card floppers are in my room offering me bounties and baby naming rights if I beat the undead. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I did not mean to get everyone's hopes up. Their hopes are up because they think you can save our game. I know, it's so stupid, that's not even why I'm here. Right, you're here for a piece of ass. Hey. Oh, oh I'm sorry, is that not the entire reason you came to Gen Con? Don't have a stroke, I get it. Hot gamer chick. The latest in fantasy fuck toys. Another game to be won and walked away from. Don't need to know anything else, do you? But you don't, right? Know anything else about me. At all. Yeah. That's about what I thought. And you wonder why I think you're a joke. You may be too cool for this game or the people who play it, but I'm not. So please excuse me if I'm not swooning over someone whose idea of a good time is shitting all over the thing that I love. Why do you even care? All I've ever seen is these asshats tearing you down and ignoring you. They're fawning all over me and you've been kicking ass for what, years? Go join the legacy. You belong with them. Natalie. Natalie! Hey, hey, Quest Hole. You're coming with us. <laughs> really? Because it looks like I'm doing the exact opposite. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like we got us a frisky one. Uh, maybe you don't hear so good? Or maybe you need me to explain how things work around here? But I said you're coming with us. Oh! Oh! What the hell, man? Are we not fighting? I thought we were fighting. I'm a hemophiliac, you dickwad! I'm sorry, it was clear to me that we were fighting. I have to go to the hospital? I'm pressing charges. Fine. Just lead the way. I'll go. Just don't bleed on me. Uh, uh. Number one, King Team Hooray, Ninja Dragon Rider, Secret Rock Star USA, Ninja Dragon Riders. 
Honoring techniques of all ancestor now reveals. <laughs> Ninja, Dragon, Riders. What a show, huh? So sad what happened. They deserved better. Yes, they did. I hate that chicka chomp. Strutting around the car. Like we're gonna forget it was his fault the show went off the air. Yes, yes, exactly. Come on, boom. All of those plot lines unresolved. Oshi, is she ever gonna know her daughter is still alive? Huh? Or Hikaru, is she ever gonna collect the seven dragon crystals? We'll never know. And you know why? That fucking rabbit. He puts his show on in the exact same time slot as NDR, sucks away all the ratings, we never even got a chance to say goodbye. And it's so crazy, you know? It it's like you're reading my mind. Chibi-chan! Oh! Chibi-chibi-chan! Oh! Chibi-chan! Chibi-chan! Oh! Yeah! Rabbit season! Hey. Blast him! Now, Mr. Cassidy, I suppose you're wondering why you've been brought here today. No, not really. A common theme one finds in classical mythology is the belief that all events are predetermined, that all outcomes have already been decided by gods weaving together the strands of fate. On a related note, you may call me Weaver. No. I'm sorry? No, I'm gonna call you Lewis. You look like a Lewis to me. I see that we are evenly matched. Not really, no. Is this going somewhere? You're a good player, yes, but new. Inexperienced. You'd be wise to ally with us. Go your own way if you must, but be warned. We set our agenda into motion years ago, and it is unstoppable now. We're gonna turn this into another poker, another magic. Starvation is just a tactic to frustrate the story players. And it's working. It's driving them away from the game. With them gone, the publisher needs to look for different revenue streams, AKA sponsored tournaments with cash prizes. And that means money. You hear me? Getting paid to play games. <laughs> Wait, that's it? That's the big evil plan? What about the story? Fuck their story. That's just there to keep people invested. And after we kill questing, when I win tomorrow, a couple of years, the only players left would be guys like us. Who could be a part of that? Oh. Did you just brain freeze yourself? No. The legacy has dominated the turn scene. Yeah, okay, we're done here. You're doomed if you cross us. I'll keep that in mind. We are more powerful than you can possibly imagine. I'm sure you are. What's up? 
do it. No, no, no. Ow! God! Can we just accept that he's not coming? The finals start at noon. It's not noon. Ergo, the finals haven't started yet. He's coming, right? Why would I know that? Nice lecture. I'm not cosplaying. <laughs> hey. I heard about what happened. It's a shame. Shame was definitely involved. History of the Nine Empires. <laughs> Weird reading about it in the third person. You know I played in some of the tournaments that helped write the early chapters. Yeah? Yeah. Follow the God King, founding a Holden. It's a great time in the game. You know what I loved about it? Mm. The fact that it was never just about what you yourself were doing. I mean, not if you were in the tournament circuit. I mean, you had years of other players' accomplishments to consider, to live up to. And you get on that stage, and all of those people pulling for different factions. My hands were actually shaking during some of the matches. And the cry havocs, where everyone's howling at the top of their lungs. And it burrows down in your chest and focuses things like a laser and puts you in a state of no mind. How many games have you played where you control the landscape of what's to come, where you drive the game, where you're part of the story. How did I not know this world existed? And now that you do, what the hell are you doing out here? The finals are going on, and you said this girl was worth it. What's changed? Yeah, it's this way. Yeah. That's what's up, baby! Ah! Cass, yeah. where have you been? Uh, uh, the finals really the start in, like, uh, now. Look, I'm really sorry. I, I can't play today. <laughs> OK, uh, sure you can? Get up there. My back's gone. Burned, actually. You can guess who did it. No, 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 no. You, you. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. You still got a champion. Oh, no. You still got a champion. Oh, She's no. right up there. You're not playing? I accept your concession. Sidebar. Now. What is your angle? Okay, how is this supposed to get me in bed? When I started, that was all I was after. But then, kind of against my will, I got invested in the story, in the myriad, in the group. And if I had my deck, I'd hurl it headlong into getting our queen on the throne. Date or no. So quit wasting time on me and go kick some undead ass. Hey, buddy, have you got Cass's deck list? Oh, uh, yes, but I can't give it to you. <laughs> Listen up, people! Okay, so we've got... Oh, shh. We've got eight minutes to rebuild Cass's deck or he can't play. I know, I know, look, I know! It's not gonna be easy, right? Some of, some of these cards have been out of play since forever. But I have seen them, huh? I know we have them as, as trophies, as trade stocks. So please dig deep, people. You'll, everybody's gonna get their cards back. But this, this here is to stop the undead, huh? 
this. This is for Cameraman! Let's save the world. Huh? Cards out, Payless, let's go. Thank you, thank you. Oh my. Okay, good, 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 good. You don't deserve this. No. This isn't about you. Wow, oh, beautiful. What you got? Oh, that's coming back to you. What's up, what's up? I got one, I got one, I got one. Both of these are coming through, coming through. What's up, guys? Who's got some? Yeah, 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 come to me, come to me. Come to me. Why? Because I've had enough. You're gonna keep doing this until you get whatever it is out of your system, so you just go. And if I see you on the news tomorrow, I will deny you three times. You can take the mask off. No. Kinda like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, we are so we're so close. We're one short, all right? It's, hang on, kind of a huge one. Um, I need an apple of life. Yeah. Who's got one? Who's got one? Anybody? Apple of life, come on, we just need one, we got it. I could use some help against the undead. Go team. You're damn right. lies the future of Counter May. Today we crown a new high monarch. Today we shall have a reckoning. Today we shall cry havoc. Cry havoc. And let's look at the war. Cannot wait to get my beer on. Hey, no autographs, dude. <laughs> Bucks to you, you are... Not again. I had hoped for a more even match upon a return engagement. I see I am to be disappointed. I have never had such a bad draw. It's like these cards have a mind of their own. Will Myriad be joining us? It's like she's not even in here. What do you mean, gone? Her chamber is empty, and there's a map missing from the cache. <gasps> Which map? Yours is a world of many possibilities, yes. And few are aware of all the versions played out before the course of events resolves. But what of those who control our destiny? The ones playing games with our fate? You have it backwards. These players do not determine the fate of Countermay. They are reading its history and through a means of divination as old as time. Cards? 
It is as I predicted. Your quest tricks may get you through the Swiss, but they will not hold up against an elite build in the elimination round. There is no time left to quest, Majesty. Malkyra is here. The hell have you been? Do we stand any chance of defeating them in a pitched battle? None. Well then, Chaley? To battle. Quite liked, Myriad. It's a pity another Buxtahude has to die because you two overestimated yourselves. Uh, I got nothing. This is why we hunt and you gather. Lewis Weaver advances to the final round. Congratulations. Great game, Natalie. Good luck with it. I am here to treat with your queen. I've seen you beat a legacy starvation deck, a feat I myself have been unable to accomplish. What's that have to do with anything? A test draw. That's what I saw you doing. You were doing a test draw against starvation. If I tailor the deck to beat starvation, I leave myself open to military. It was a gamble. You overestimated yourself. Touché. I propose an alliance. Oh, so now you want an alliance. Watch your tone. I'm one turn away from crushing your pathetic little army. An army that, oddly enough, has shown that it can beat starvation. So here's my offer. Support Malkior. In exchange, we will meet the dread army in the field and delay them long enough for Buxtehude to, to quest for victory. Should you succeed, you will choose King Hammerdoom of Malkior to sit the Godhead seat. Myriad will marry Prince Rannon to make our alliance permanent. Reject this offer and Holden Burns. Accept this offer. And I will concede this match. This is my choice. My answer is yes. Then our swords are yours.
Where are we? That's not my real mouth. Here. Hikaru? Is that really you? No, not really. Just another hallucination born out of your rapidly deteriorating mental state. I blamed the energy drinks. Don't try to stop me. I can't stop you. That's not really why I'm here. I'm here to ask you one simple question. Is this what a ninja dragon rider would do? You know what he did to you. I certainly do. And if you truly believe that this is the right way to honor our memory, torch the fucker. But you're gone. Y you and all the other ninja dragon riders, you you're gone, Hikaru. Acceptance is the final step. And all the deliciously appropriate revenge in the world won't bring you back. Remember us, Gary. Remember us and we shall ride our dragons, which are also ninjas across the skies forever. <laughs> there, there. Let it all out. Okay. Getting, getting a little weird now. Thank you, Hikaru. I think that I'm ready to hate productively again. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. take place with Ikshasa <laughs> an alliance between Melchior and Holden. You should have been one of us, man. Hell, you are one of us. Dude, I am nothing like you. It's not too late to join you now. You and me, we could rule this scene. Cut the crab in your deck. All right, but consider this. The Meech, the guy who beat you in nine cards, he's afraid to play me. Music! Don't look surprised you had to know that it would end this way. Your choice sealed your fate before we had begun to play. Stop blaming luck and chance for craftsmen only blame them. What have you brought us? Nothing. The emissary of the Dread Army is like she knows every move I'm going to make. She's everywhere, thwarting every quest. We won't last much longer. I have only one quest left. One we've never attempted. I was wondering when you'd arrive. The apple of life.
which blossoms once a millennium and has enough life force to raise an entire army. Shall I eat it? Return to the golden, ageless life of the Fae. We could run away together. Spend more stolen moments inside chambers. Of course, Holden will fall, and its people join the Dread Army. But if that's what's meant to happen, who are we to prevent it? <laughs> I understand now what you were trying to tell me about our world. The emissary filled me in when she gave me the gift. You are not Dunderil. Shall I prove it? In more intimate ways. A string of kisses down your spine, perhaps. I will kill you. <laughs> One hand in the small of your back, the other at your navel to steady you. Hoist you like a mainsail. Take my word, little girl, for I've been around long enough to know there is no escape from predetermined. <laughs> 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 Too bad you won't last the turn. For this? My army starved and died for this bit of sodding fruit? It can raise the dead. The dead are here. You may have lost the kingdom to save one man. Saving Dunderil was never my intent. Activating Apple of Life. Not that it really matters, but who are you raising from the dead? <laughs> you. Oh, you clever bitch. What just happened? I believe he just resurrected your entire army. An entire army that you now have to feed. And yep, you don't have any food production on your board. Holy sex balls. He just started a starvation thing. Did you just forget that my entire army will reanimate next turn? Did you just forget that I'm too renowned away from victory? <laughs> no. Not like this. guy, King Hammerdong. Hammer Doom. It is a time of celebration! <laughs> the Dread Army falls, defeated by an alliance of might and metal. 
Where her father buried the Godhead seat, Myriad put an ally upon it, assuring beyond all doubt that more than one Buxty Hude will live on in legend! <laughs> Da Vinci, Mark, your student acquitted himself well today. And yours got a little out of hand. Admittedly so. I'll be far more discriminating the next time I elect to train a team. The game can't survive another legacy. The game misses you. The game's in good hands. Meech. Leo. Actually, my flight doesn't leave for another six hours. Do you want to get a beer? Hell yes. And I'm buying. <laughs> Why, thank you, Sim. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly beloved. We are gathered here before the eyes of God and of all gods to recognize the wedding of Marian Buxtehude of Holden and Prince Rannan of Malchior. So congrats, you saved our world. Please, that's a little dances with Wolvesy. I want a card game. I was gonna go last samurai -esque. More avatar-ish, perhaps. We're really talking about birth of a nation. Except you're not a racist fuck. Indeed, indeed not. I'm a dick, not an asshole. An important distinction. Hi, thanks. You're gonna to want to wipe your prints off that. Thanks for the tip. So, I suppose you'll be expecting that date now? Nah. I didn't actually get your monarch on the throne. Mm. Plus, I owe you an Apple of Life card, you and Leo. It died for a good cause. And let's face it, getting a date through the whole I did X, so you owe me Y thing is kinda douchey. Well, you're kind of a douchebag, so... Kind of expecting you to contradict me there. Why, it's true. <laughs> so, um... Will I be seeing you at the next regional qualifier? I think you might. Cool. I hear you know this great waffle place. Maybe we grab some coffee after, sling some cards, talk about the game? I like that. See you around, cats. Wife? I have something for you. A belated wedding present. What is this? The roots of the tree of life grow to many worlds. There is another realm where the apples of life blossom, a world far closer to the root. You may still be able to save your love. 
Now marriage is one of strategic interest. But that doesn't mean that we have to suffer for it. Oh, my, am I early? I was just leaving. Go. Save your love. And leave behind that ridiculous dress. It suits you not at all. Father, try to keep up. What else is there to say? You were such an important part of my life. And, and it just isn't the same without you. I miss you. But even though you're gone, I still love you. I always will. Thank you for the time that we spent together. And, and wherever you are, may you unite the seven dragon crystals of destiny the same way that you united the seven dragon crystals of my heart. Uh, <clears throat> can, I, uh, can I get a minute, guys? Of course. You bet. Thanks. Actually, I don't know what I was thinking. That's way too left. Oh, come on. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, that's good. <sighs> Thank you. Sky. <laughs> Thanks. Look, congratulations and everything, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited to not have your face around polluting my favorite game anymore. They based a card on you. Oh, look at that, they totally did. Would you sign this for me? Sure. Game time. Yeah. Cool. Lose a bit, Jesus. What a dick. <sighs> nice. So. This sure seems familiar. Uh-huh. Yeah, haven't we all been here before? It's like deja vu all over again. <laughs> so, the shadow. Now, give us the girl. The girl was but a means to an end. To lure the five of you here. To kill us. You? No. My quarrel was never with you. The great secret I mentioned. Do you remember it? What is that? Is that 
Oh, my. My quarrel has never been with you. Rather, it's been with those who've continually thwarted my plans. Now you, I have quite the quarrel with.
Yeah.